Welcome back to your tech news in six minutes or less. In today's show, Nvidia shows the next level drool factor for RTX cards, AMD flexes its next gen APUs, gaming gets more awesome source remakes and freebies, and we have a look at what's hot on the Uptech store this week. Kicking off with Nvidia, and they have revealed their new Ampere next gen GPUs, which are just dialing it up to 11 and then multiplying it by four. If we have a look at the transistor count alone on the new GPU, it's four times plus some extra on what was already on a 2070 Super, which already made a pretty convincing 1080p card for streaming and recording. And now they're just taking it and <laughs> explosions of resources, 40 gigs worth of HBM2 memory. Does mean that this card will probably be pushed over the 50K mark, which means that you can buy a small secondhand Golf or this GPU. That being said, in 4K, it will probably be like wiping your eyes with a bag of puppy ears. In some AMD news, we have some more performance leaks around their APUs, and the bullet point of the presentation is it's probably going to be one of the best budget buys for Adobe Suite Work and Live 3D. It's not really going to be gaming capable, nor would it be the CPU you picked for that. But for those sort of high-end office workloads, it's going to be an absolute steal. In some very interesting scam news, there are 128 gig flash drives being sold as 5G bio shields. Firstly, I don't know where they even got 128 gig flash drives from because even the freebies it shows these days are 8 gigs. So for $347, I'm going to have to slap a hashtag rude on that one. In some really cool nostalgia tech, Creative is back with one of the prettiest looking sound cards I've ever seen. Love to get my hands on one to see if it sounds as good as it looks, but just based on that, it definitely receives a two syllable damn. Moving on to some gaming news, which is rich and awesome this week. Firstly, we have Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel being given away absolutely free once again by the old guys at Epic Game Store. This being their third major release that they've done in the last few weeks. CD Projekt Red's Witcher 3 sold past 50 million copies, sold making it one of the most successful games of all time. And I just know that they are injecting all of that resource and energy into Cyberpunk with everything that we've seen. It's gonna be good. Lastly, in nostalgic gaming that sort of crept up on us from the be after there is an absolutely breathtaking looking system shock remake for our younger audience the, and the uninitiated on this it's sort of like half-life 2 on steroids in or half-life in a lot of ways it's from that era where survival sh horror cover by shooter mixes sort of originated from and it's probably one of the best shooters ever made Having a quick look at the EFTX specials and giving it my personal pick of what's hot right now, I came up with the following. The AMG Petronas chairs that we reviewed here on T3 are back in stock, so if you guys are fans and you need a little bit more convincing, there are reviews live on our YouTube and on EFTX. Asus are slinging 1650 supers with the DDR6 memory package at a very solid price. Their Radeon 5700OC is also coming through at a very, very good price. That basically being a 2060 Super in a lot of instances, but at quite a bit of a discount. Hikvision NVMEs are also on special, and these are some of the best we've ever tested here at T3. Logitech's F7 wireless gamepad is at a really good price right now, being one of the better wireless controllers for PC. And the Gandhi's mechanical keyboard zone special, one in full mech setup with an aluminium backplate. We did do a review on this on T3 as well. And then the TKL setup, which also looks quite nice. Lastly, though, I have in my possession one of the MSI Prestige notebooks, and the review on that will be out later in the week. Until then, keep your nose ticking and your games ranking. We'll see you next time.